Yeah, I still help. Ah. Who says love doesn't last forever? Welcome back, little apples. In today's episode, we're gonna take a step away from Japan and step into a place that's a little closer to home, our neighborhood, Bushwick. Bushwick has so much going on. It is definitely one of the up and coming neighborhoods of New York City. When people talk about New York City, you're gonna hear Bushwick. Bushwick is in North Brooklyn. To the west, we're bordered by Manhattan. I don't know if you can see it, it's pretty far in the distance, but trust me, it's there. If we move around to the north, We've got Ridgewood and the rest of Queens, one of the largest, if not the largest borough in New York City. Over here to the east, Brooklyn continues out into Long Island. Eventually you're gonna hit the Hamptons where we can raise our pinkies and raise a toast to the good life. And down further to the south is South Brooklyn. In fact, that building right there, if you follow right along my arm, is where I first lived in New York City. However, that was five years ago, and that building definitely was not there. How the times change. But enough of the roof talk. Let's get down on the streets and let's show you the neighborhood that we love so much. Come on. When Bushwick was founded in the 17th century by the Dutch, they originally called it Boswick. And forgive me, I don't know Dutch, so I probably just butchered that. But Boswick originally meant neighborhood in the woods. Now the woods may be gone, but the neighborhood is strong. When you hear Bushwick, what do you think of? If you don't know anything about it, probably not much, but usually people are gonna think of the restaurants, the bars, all the cool graffiti. But Bushwick is so much more than just a hipster haven. We're here on Knickerbocker Avenue which is one of the main arteries and thoroughfares for the Bushwick community. This is where everyone comes to get all of their daily goods, anywhere from pastries to a slice of pie, the dollar store goods, the pet store. This is our mall. You might have an enclosed building where you go to. Here, we've got Knickerbocker Avenue. In New York City, our apartments are so small that we have no choice but to go outdoors. And this is the place for us in Bushwick. No community is complete without a good park and we've got the best right here, Maria Hernandez Park. This park boasts handball slash racquetball courts, basketball courts, a large community area for anything in between. We've got a playground, we've got a meeting point in the middle. We even have a dog park or a dog run. But all of this wouldn't be possible without the amazing contribution of Maria Hernandez herself. And you're asking, Gabe, who is Maria? Maria used to be a Bushwick community member back in the 50s to the 80s, who was fed up with all of the drug dealing and all of the crime that was going on in this neighborhood. Through the organization of block parties, community gatherings, and educating her neighbors, Maria was able to band together with the community to push out the drug dealers and make Bushwick as great as it is today. Unfortunately, Maria was shot and killed due to her conviction. However, her spirit still lives on. As you can see, all of the community coming together, any type of weather, good, bad, in between. There are always parties going on, always people enjoying the sun, always people enjoying Bushwick. So that's what I'm talking about. I just love this community so much. We just met these guys, walked up to them. They're doing something cool. I said, hey, can we film you? They said, yeah, of course, no problem. This community is just all about being friendly and spreading the love, raising each other up as best we can. That's why I love Bushwood.
One of the main attractions to Bushwick is what you see behind me. All of this awesome, awesome street art. I can't tell you how lucky that we feel to be able to live just down the street from here. People literally from around the world will come to our neighborhood just to see the street art. A Bushwick, along with all of the family community, hey! <laughs> along with all the family and the community, Bushwick is also known for its flourishing artist community, which kind of helped push Bushwick in the direction that it's going today, for better or worse. And all of this art is thanks to something called the Bushwick Collective, which is just, as the name suggests, a collective of the Bushwick artists that have come together to beautify and embody our great neighborhood. If you follow along with me, you'll see in this area of town, known colloquially as Jeff Town, we're here at Wyckoff and Troutman. You've got all the cool street art, but you also have a lot of different restaurants. For example, we've got an artichoke pizza right here. If you're not into that kind of thick and heavy pizza just down the street, Sorry Artichoke is one of my favorite pizza shops in New York City. Union Pizza Works. Artichoke is good too, though. <laughs> uh, you've got a grocery store, Hana, the organic grocery store, right across the street from us over here. A Sea Wolf, if you're in the more lighter, kind of seagoing fare. We've got a lot of food trucks. There's even an Asian eatery, so to speak, called Doc, which we will be taking you to, which we will be taking you to later. Uh, down the street, we've got KCBC, which is a brewery. We've got the Cobra Club, House of Yes. This is the party spot for Bushwick. This is why the kids love it. This is why it's becoming so popular. So if you're not all about the kind of community and you want a nice, fun spot with tons to do and great food, come to Jeff Town. food and tobacco. Over time that changed to the manufacturing of sugar, oil, and chemicals. But by the mid-19th century, with an influx of German immigrants, Bushwick became known for something else. Beer. Bushwick was the Northeast's capital for beer in the United States. This place was hopping. Ah, get it? <laughs> Unfortunately though, things died down with the recession in 1970 when all of that industry moved out of Bushwick and the demographic of the neighborhood changed a little bit. However, thanks to the great people like KCBC Brewing, the Kings County Brewing Coalition, Bushwick has reclaimed a bit of that old fame for today. So whenever you come to Bushwick, hop on in KCBC for a taste of local history. Now, if you love dancing and you're in Bushwick, the House of Yes is an absolute must. Some of the best parties you're gonna find are right here in the House of Yes. But more than just the party, what I love about this place is that it really exemplifies what I think the neighborhood is all about, which is inclusion and love. No matter your race, no matter your sex, no matter your age, if you like the dance, if you don't like the dance, it doesn't matter. This place is for you. Everyone is welcome and everyone is loved here. If you fall asleep on the sightseeing tours, this is where you're going to end up. One of my favorite places is actually the warehouse district. I don't know what it is about it, if it's derelict, if it's empty like my soul, I don't know. But I just love walking around and getting this kind of a peace of mind. Run away! So 
we'll see you for another bite out of the Wasabi Apple.